Ooh. This box makes me jittery because this is probably one of the best boxes I have ever seen any subscription box put out. Welcome to Back to Chill Outdoors. We're gonna make this intro really fast because people always click off the video within like a minute. I'm Brad, this is Monster Bash stuff. Yes, I am wearing a Monster Bash shirt out of respect for my boy Rick Patry. I do not work for Monster Bass. I do not make videos for Monster Bass, but I have a lot of respect for Rick Patry and I have a lot of respect for Monster Bass. So I, of course I would wear some gear, some merch. In fact, this, this sucker right here, says MB on it. I do got a lot of mad respect for Monster Bass, Rick Patry, and the team, but we have to put all that aside today as we look at some of these boxes and I have to decide, is Monster Bass keeping it honest? Are they being consistent? Is it worth the money for y'all to spend? I hope everything is still in all of these. I don't, I haven't really opened any of these except to get this mask out, um, but I have a four-year-old and he digs in everything. So if you are a Monster Bass subscriber and you got one of these packages in the last three months, comment below if I missed anything or if something was missing from my box. But let's take a look. We have a green box, an orange box, and a bag. These are from the last three months when I dropped Monster Bass uh, as a sponsor, I guess you could say. I had to go out and buy these on my own. So let's see, am I making my money's worth? Just like I would any fishing tackle subscription box review. Let's start with this bag, because I don't even know when we got this. This is also gonna go really quick, so make sure you keep up with me. Since I've been disconnected from Monster Bass, I don't really know what the theme of this bag is, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, this says this is the Carolina Rig Kit. Just to explain, I know Rick Patry is big about the experience of fishing, including knowledge and things like that, like your knowledge of fishing, because a lot of people who subscribe to fishing tackle boxes are newer fishermen, so, or younger fishermen. So he literally has an entire book that he puts together every month. We have Sabretooth Series Extra Wide Gap Monster Bass brand hooks. And it looks like we have this Carolina rig kit that comes with some, maybe some tungsten weights, some swivels, some like gold washers. I don't ever Carolina rig. I, I have no, I don't even know how to do it. Um, some beads here. We're looking at Carolina rig stuff. Let's look at the soft baits. So we start out with a Grande Bass Watermelon Red six and a half inch air, tear, air Tail Wiggler. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Color, solid. Green plastic, red flake, black flake, 10 pack. Of course, ooh, okay. So this one came with a mask as well. Uh, boar, Z-Man Boar Hogs Green Pumpkin. These are in like a straight tray, so they're trying to keep these straight. Of course, Z-Man, Elastec, you can stretch this thing for days. Okay, so Boar Hogs Green Pumpkin, four pack, oh no, five pack of four inch. It's like some kind of like a creature, lizard, craw. It looks like we could unsnap these if we wanted to and give it a little bit of a swimming action. But like I said, as the Elastec are known for, this thing will stretch to like probably 10 times its own original length. Vicious Fishing. Ripper 110, and this is a floating jerk bait. Um, it is a good color, it looks very natural. I like a natural jerk bait. Vicious Fishing, Ripper 110. Let's see, the Team Arc. Okay, so the Arc Pencil Popper. So when I got that in a subscription box last year, I put it in a box of things that I would probably never use. But recently, I made a post about poppers and I think more people commented that the Arc Pencil Popper was their favorite popper than any other company. It was kind of, it was such a big difference that I was really surprised because I really don't know much about Arc. You guys see that save just now? So this is the CT35. It looks like a square bill with a sick shad pattern. My color is all off. One second. It looks like a square bill, typical size square bill, crankbait, Team Arc CT. 3 CT3-5 and then the last bait in this bag is a Lucky Strike and it's called the Red Ear, a 3 8 ounce deep 
smoothie. Let's see. So what is this thing? AOS2. And it looks like this thing goes five to eight feet. It's a two inch crankbait. Very bright colors. Man, I am destroying my color on this video. Very bright colors on this sucker. This looks like something you would go walleye fishing with. I'm from central Indiana. I know a lot of people use bright greens. I don't, I never really do, but I'm not gonna diss on the lure. It's not its fault that it's bright green and I don't use bright green, but it's crankbait. So, worm, Z-man, boar hogs, vicious fishing, jerkbait, square bill by Team Arc, lucky strike, uh, deep crank, and then the Carolina kit with tungsten. That right there is worth pretty good money. And then uh, uh, EWG hooks. All right, that is number one. Um, I believe this was the next one I received. I've been up since 4 a.m. by the way, y'all. That's If I have bags under my eyes, I've been up since 4 a.m. because I went turkey hunting this morning, opening day of Indiana season, and I killed a bird, and I got it on video. Go check out my hunting videos if you haven't seen those. Turkey video should be up in about maybe first week of May. Ooh, 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 ooh. This box makes me jittery because when this box hit my doorstep, of course my four year old wants to open it immediately. He watches Rick Patrick commercials on YouTube, it's hilarious. The Z-Man box, the Z-Man takeover box. When I saw this box hit my doorstep and I opened it up, I was actually legit sad that I didn't work with Monster Bass or for Monster Bass anymore because this is probably one of the best boxes I have ever seen any subscription box put out. If you give me an entire box of Z-Man baits, bro, there's some money in this. All right, so you get the Z-Man takeover information, blah, blah, blah. Let me show you guys this. Now, I know we're looking for consistency, but there's no way these two boxes are gonna be as good as this box. A Z-Man takeover? All right, starting out with a chatterbait. A chatterbait CFL bladed football jig. We start out with a chatterbait. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's not your favorite kind of chatterbait? There's another chatterbait. And this one is with the cross eye uh, jig head and it has the weed guards and, and it's in fire craw. It's like the most popular chatterbait color. What? Two chatterbaits to start this box. Let's look at some of these jig heads. Um, I'm not familiar with Z-Man's swim bait head. So we have a Willow Vibe. It's a, oh, it's a rapid vibration bladed jig head. So it's like a chatterbait jig head. Oh, okay girl, okay girl. Swim bait eye jig heads, 3 8 ounce. Big fat jig heads. Now let's look at some of these baits cause it's the Z-Man takeover and everybody loves the z-man elastex everybody we have finesse shads in pearl color looks like a drop shot bait 100 percent would use those all right let's look at one of these big suckers the razor shad fire craw so we have more fire craw color and it's like a little bit of a jointed swim bait i'm not familiar with this either wow i would say the majority of z-man stuff i've ever used is chatter baits or ned rigs so a lot of this is kind of new to me now I am familiar with these, the goat in the color, the deal. I don't know if this Donald Trump uh, inspired, but you know, he's got a book called The Deal, The Art of the Deal. Anyway, so Z-Man, goat, the deal. These are like a fat body with little kicky legs. I would say it's probably gonna be used on a trailer of a jig or a spinner bait, even maybe even a buzz bait, something of that sort. And I love the color. It's like pearl blue on the bottom and like greenish pearl blue on top. And then we have minnows in also the color of the deal. Did we hit the value on that one? I think so guys. This is, um, it is the end of April right now. I probably got this the second week of April. So this is the April box. And I got these all mixed up because this one is the Texas rig box. And it says that next month is the Carolina rig. So maybe I got this one and then that one and then that one. I don't even know. I got these over the last three months. So, a whole pamphlet of information. If you guys can't tell, I, I clearly am out of the loop with Monster Bass. Okay, so, I saw these, but I don't really know what to make of it. I don't know. So, this is switchblades. You can make any jig into a vibrating jig. You can make your own chatterbaits with these. I don't know if I'm into that or not. 
I think a lot of people will think this is really cool. You could try it on spinner baits, lipless crankbaits, umbrella rigs, jig heads, weighted jig heads. It's kind of interesting. Missile baits. Let's see, we got Baby D Bomb in the TM's Super Crusher. It's a dark blue with red flake and blue flake. And it looks like you would use this as a trailer or maybe on a jig, things like that. Missile Baits has really exploded out of Virginia, I know that. We got some Monster Bass Lures. The Hammerhead by Alex Rudd, Silent Square Bill. I love Silent Square Bills and I know Alex Rudd does too. I know he loves Silent Square Bills. And this color is called Perp. Purple on the top, white in the middle, yellow on the bottom. Hammerhead 1.5 Silent Square Bill. Oh, another Monster Bass. Oh, okay. So since this is the Texas rig box, makes sense that we have a Texas rig flipping and pitching pack. So we have some tungsten weights. That's actually pretty sweet that they give us these little sample packs with everything you need for a Texas rig. So it has like some beads, it has the bobber stopper things or whatever they're called, and the uh, tungsten weights. And I reckon that would go with that, flipping. What else do we have? Do we have another? Oh, oh, girl. Some big old rage tails. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Cut er worm tequila sunrise six pack. I'm not familiar with this worm or this tail, but I'm definitely familiar with tequila sunrise. Beautiful color. Whoa. What in the world? Well, isn't that kind of weird? Are you supposed to pull this off? I am unfamiliar with this worm at all, but okay. It doesn't show this piece of plastic. It doesn't show this in the picture. You shut up. It doesn't show this in the picture, but I love the Tequila Sunrise color. Absolutely epic color. And these are weird. But in the heat of the summer, I know a big Texas rig is a lot of people's favorite. A pack of massive Rage Tails with the coffee scent. A Yozuri One Knock Sound Rattlin' Vibe One Knock. And it is a sinking 5 8 ounce lipless crankbait. Love the color. Excellent cover for color for this time of the year. Spawn slash pre-spawn. That red and gold, red and orange color. And then, of course, since it's a Texas rig flipping box, we have a nice jig from Queen Tackle. Tungsten Hammerhead. I don't know this company. But, oh, it has a rattle head. Okay, very faint rattle, I kinda like it. It's kinda like low key. Some must add tube hooks. NP tube hooks. All right, that's it. Clearly the Z-Man box is absolutely insane. And then this Texas rig box is pretty sweet, especially the Rage Tails and the Yozuri and the tungsten kit. But what do you guys think? Good, no good, comment below. Do you like this, do you not? Thank you so much for being here. Like, comment, subscribe, all the boring stuff. Thank you so much, peace.